Stories of the Bible, Moses and the Burning Bush. This is Moses. Bill. Moses was an Israelite boy born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians. But God had a special plan for Moses. Oh, eh? And he spent his childhood in the palace of the Pharaoh. You see, when Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh-oh. Pharaoh found out what Moses had done, and he tried to have Moses killed. So Moses ran away from Egypt. He stopped in the land of Midian. Ah. And seven sisters came to the well to give water to their father's flock. Some shepherds came to drive them away. Hey, you. But Moses stood up for the women. Hey. Hey, now these sisters were the daughters of the Midianite priest named Jethro. When Jethro heard what Moses did for his daughters, he sent for Moses. So Moses came to live among the Midianites, and he married Zipporah, one of Jethro's daughters. Huh? Meanwhile, back in Egypt, the old pharaoh died, but he was replaced by a new pharaoh <laughs> who continued to treat the Israelites poorly. Ah oh, man! The Israelites cried out to God because of the terrible things that the pharaoh made them do. God heard these people and knew it was time to act. One day, Moses was tending Jethro's flock when an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses through a burning bush that would not burn up. Whoa. Moses stopped to look at the bush, and he heard the voice of God say, Moses, Moses. Hello? God then told Moses how sad he was because of the suffering of his people. He told Moses that he wanted to do something about it, and he wanted Moses to be the one to do it. Oh, man. But Moses did not think he was the right person to go. God said, I will be with you. Uh, but Moses said that he wouldn't know the right thing to say to the people. So God said to tell the people that God himself had sent him and promised Moses that his plan would be fulfilled through Moses. But Moses still said to God that he did not think the people would believe him. So God said, what is that in your head? Oh. Moses said, a staff. God told Moses to throw it on the ground. Wow, okay. Then God told Moses to catch it. God showed Moses another sign. Huh? And told him to show these signs to the people if they did not believe what he said. Moses still didn't think he would have the right words to say. But God said that he himself was the one who made a man's mouth and gave him the ability to speak. So there was no need to worry. Yet even after all this, Moses said, God, please send someone else. Then God got mad at Moses Oops. and said that he would send Moses' brother Aaron to speak for Moses. So Moses went back to his father-in-law and told him that he needed to go back to Egypt. Moses and his family started their journey back to Egypt. And Moses carried the staff of God in his hand, for this staff would be the tool God would use to demonstrate his awesome power to the Israelites and to the Egyptians. 